Hey guys, Jeff here with Titans of CNC. I'm here in front of the Makino A81NX, and today we're going to talk about the Makino Pro 6 Fanet Control. Let's get started. So as you guys know, we got this machine a little while ago and Titan gave me the amazing opportunity to learn how to operate this machine. Recently we did a video covering top 10 tips on how to get started running this machine. But now I want to show you the control itself. At first I was intimidated because up to this point I've only worked with Haas controls and I was impressed by how user friendly and versatile the Pro 6 actually is. Let's go to our program tab. Here you have your current program and then you have your file operation, M198 setting, and your DNC schedule. So in the edit tab, you can actually go through, make edits on any program you need. The next tab over is your file operation, which houses all your programs. You have your program memory, which is two gigs, and that's what you'll be using most of the time. But if you have larger files, you can come up to your M198, which has 20 gigs of space. Next, we have our DNC schedule tab which allows you to run multiple programs without having to load and execute them separately. The next tab is your tool data tab. This shows you your list of tools for the program. It allows you to define the tool type, the tool offsets, activate through spindle coolant, change your automatic tool changer speed, set parameters for tool life management, and so on. This is also where you can call a tool up to the spindle, search for your tools, etc. It's easy as that. So let's move on to our coordinate system tab. Shows you all your work coordinates that you have. And here you can actually say, I don't have anything on my G55 through G59, so I can deselect them and just have my G54. Also, I have this external workpiece origin section, which applies whatever offsets you put in there to every coordinate that you have. Say, for example, to proof out your job, raise it six inches from your part, it'll add it to all your coordinates. So when you power it up, you're gonna to come to a screen that's gonna look similar to this. You're gonna have five main menu buttons and it'll start you off on the program execution tab. Here, each screen is customizable. So in this tab, I've chosen to have my program, my coordinates, my spindle loads, and my XYZ axis loads. And this will give me great visibility of what the machine is doing at any given time. But as I said, you can totally customize each tab to the parameters of your choosing. And the last main menu button is the Machining Results tab. This displays the results of the programs recently ran. Here you can see the cut time, the feed time, the interruption time, and also tool record. You have your cutting time there, cutting distance, uh, measurement record, so if you have in-process probing. With this information, I can go back and make improvements to the quality and runtime of my next operation. So as you can see, the Pro 6 interface is very intuitive, very easy to use, very user friendly. The touch screen's amazing. It shows me what I need to know, when I need to know it, but we are barely scratching the surface. There's so much more to show you guys. We've got a lot more Makino videos coming. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.